Hi everyone, it's Jason Hope, Chief Content Officer for House of Works. We're here in Austin, Texas to cover South by Southwest. I'm pleased to be joined by the Honorable Mayor of Atlanta, Kasim Reed. Thanks for joining us. Now I'm actually pleased to join you. Well, thank you so much. So what do you think of uh, the event so far? There's been a lot of activity around Choose ATL, uh, technology, film. This is really in the heart of what we do well. Well, you know, I think I'm right where we should be, and I think we are right where we should be, making the decision to have by Choose ATL to be here in the center of South By, I think was the right decision, and I think that Atlanta has so much to offer. So really, it has been a situation where everything has happened as I expected. It's completely living up to my expectations. And you have high expectations, do, do we know that? I do, I do. So let's talk about smart cities. There was an announcement yesterday with partners such as AT&T. Tell me what that means for the future of Atlanta and really how we get more connected as a city. It means being smarter about leveraging technology to help people have better lives. And the city of Atlanta in partnership with AT&T um, has been selected along with Dallas and along with the city of Chicago to be Smart City's partner. So if you're going to want to have a city that can handle the people who are coming into cities, I think you're going to have to leverage technology in order to do that effectively because the world has decided where it wants to be and it wants to be in cities. And you've talked about really right now being a key moment in Atlanta, Atlanta's history. What is that and why is that? What I say is Atlanta is at a moment and our city is ascendant uh, because we have not just one thing um, working well, we have a series of things working well. So everybody has known for a long time that we have the busiest passenger airport, but the question is, how does that relate to you? We have a motion picture business in the city of Atlanta that really didn't exist about six years ago. Now it's a six billion dollar business. Not many people know about all of the amazing schools and universities like Emory University and the Atlanta University Center and Georgia Tech and Georgia State, which are just pouring talented young people into the city of Atlanta and causing our population to grow. So all of those things are really layered in a nice fashion. And then if you want the cherry on the top, the cherry is the amount of technology investment that's going on in the city of Atlanta because of businesses like yours that have come to our city, taken root and taken off. So now we have uh, everyone paying attention to us, right? They know that the film industry is here. They know that technology is here. The digital is really taking off. Uh, but at the same time, we're being challenged with uh, legislation and different social uh, policies that are controversial here. And the rest of the country is paying attention. Yeah. But in particular, the, the crowd at South by Southwest very much pays attention to it. What's your perspective on that? My perspective is that I've watched the movie to the end. Uh, with regard to policies that are controversial and that are adverse and unwelcoming, uh, I think that the city of Atlanta is certainly on the right side, but that the state of Georgia and its governor came down on the right side. And as it relates to RIFRA and other controversial policies, the state of Georgia under the leadership of its governor made a decision and that decision was to move on. And so uh, the city of Atlanta, we have been forward leaning for a very long time. We're the only city in the southeastern United States of America to have a perfect score on the Human uh, Equity Index uh, by the Human Rights Campaign. So um, this is our second year receiving that. So I hope folks will talk about what we're doing in the city of Atlanta to be welcoming, but also look at where people come down at the end of the day. So how much of really the future of job growth in Atlanta is dependent on let's say technology and film. Is that the core of our growth in the coming years? You know, it, it won't be the core, but it will be a significant pillar. The city of Atlanta is about having a diverse, growing, burgeoning economy in multiple sectors. And that really is good for all of us because it doesn't place all of the burden on the technology community to grow jobs. It doesn't place uh, the burden solely on the convention industry to grow, grow jobs, but we have very powerful sectors. 100 million passengers coming through the airport and transportation, $6 billion being invested there. We're among the top eight sites in America for new venture capital investments in the technology space. We're number three in the television and film space. We're number three in terms of the number of Fortune 500 businesses that are in the city of Atlanta. We're one of the five most visited cities in the United States of America. So I think all of these things are the reason why people should choose Atlanta. So one of the things we cover often is uh, changes in technology and things like transportation. But we also have our staff 
who rides bikes, they jog to work, and so they're forcing uh, a different approach to getting around the city. We talk about big MARTA bills and expansion. What should the future of transportation look like in the city of Atlanta? The future of Atlanta for transportation is gonna look like what works and what is effective. And it is gonna be an all of the above approach that moves away from the automobile. I think that when you look at the Atlanta Beltline, it looks like what you want an inclusive community to look like. It looks like what you would want a city uh, that is the cradle of the civil and human rights movement in the United States of America to look like. And it looks like if you're trying to build a business where you need diverse talent from all over the country or from down the street, it looks like what you want a community to look like. So it really does um, weave us all together. Thanks to Mayor Kasim Reed for joining us today. That was an incredible conversation. And remember, join us every single day at now.howstuffworks.com.